up YouTube? I got another product here from Kemimoto that I'm going to be installing on this machine today. I'm really happy with the products that I've got from them thus far. And this one I'm sure is going to be no different. It's another storage box. Uh, I have the one in the back already. I uh, love it. And this is the same construction, just another location. So you can see the, uh, the packaging is just your normal box and this is what we got it's got nice little grab handles on the side um, it also still has the same latch as my box in the back nice rubber latch and it also comes with a lock so you can lock it up and just to keep people out uh, it's not not gonna you know prevent theft but it's a deterrence. All the links to this product, if you want to buy it, will be in the description below with a discount code. So you can click on that and save you a little bit of money. And uh, I'll let you know some details about it here and also the price. In here, you have the dust seal. It, of course, water resistant. Unless you're underwater, you're not going to get any water or dust in the box and your mounting hardware is inside. It's like one foot by one foot box in there with a nice little opening. Um, durable. I'm sure it's durable. I'm sure I can stand on it just like the last box. I'm two, over 200 pounds. Not even uh, any give. All right, so this box actually goes under your passenger seat and you do have to drill into the floor to secure this. So I know a lot of people don't like to, to drill into their equipment, but this one you have to. So with this one, it goes under the passenger seat on the Ranger XP1000. This is a 2019 model. So once you lift your seat up out of the way, you have that little indentation here for a five gallon bucket. This has three brackets that mount on here. And then when you put it in place, you're gonna drill into the floor, use some self-tapping screws. And then of course, you can still put your seat down. It doesn't interfere with your leg space. And you have extra storage, chains, toe straps, um, flashlights, any kind of tow gear. You can use it for any, you could even put food in it if you wanted to and have some snacks or whatever secured in there. Love it. It's gonna be another nice addition to our side-by-side. -side. You can't have enough storage. I also am gonna be making a video. I got side mirrors that I gotta install. I have to finish that light whip antenna and some rear-facing lights. So stay tuned for those videos. Here's the combination lock they give you. You can set your own combination for securing the, uh, the box. They give you good instructions on how to mount the box. These are the plates that we're going to use to secure. They even have little rubber washers to help with the dust and make it watertight. And they also include this tool. So the hardware is going to go up through the box like this. It's like a carriage style screw. And on top, you're going to put your rubber washer, regular washer. This will be the box right here. And then this acorn nut will be on top. So compressing it. And then uh, this right here will be where that self-tapper goes into the floor. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this real quick. Put all these brackets on. Alright, so now they want the box all the way over against the, the middle and back as far as you can. There's not a, a bracket on the back inside. There's just two up front and one on the back side. So then when your seat goes down... It, it is in line with the seat. It doesn't stick out from the seat. 
Um, there's little template holes already. I'll show you. Polaris stuff has these little holes like this, or marked for drilling something of theirs that does not line up with this. And I'm gonna go ahead and drill my my holes right there, not very deep. This is all the depth we're going with these little self tappers. They're Allens. They don't give you the wrench for it, so you'll you'll need that tool. As you can see down in here. That's what they'll look like when complete. I had to shave some plastic off with a knife from the molds, but. So they say drill, drill a four millimeter. I don't have a four millimeter, I don't think. I don't really have a four millimeter available, so I'm gonna drill this. 530 seconds it's a little bit smaller and uh these threads sh it should be in there nice and tight don't drill too deep don't drill in too deep to whatever's below Alright, so the box is in place. I started the first self tapper in. That 516 drill bit worked really good with these, nice and tight. So just go ahead and run this down with the Allen. I'm gonna get it started. Get them all started. Five sixteens worked really good with these screws. There it is, all tightened down and operational. Lid opens up. Can clip it. We can now put our lock on, and then drop the seat down. More storage, and then. You can take your lock and lock it up. It's recessed, so it should sit in there somewhat nice. Seat down. So this portion's de designed nice with the lid, how they have the lid on the front half, so when you flip it up, it stays open with the seat. They really thought that out. So it doesn't fall down on its own with the seat sticking out. So they really uh, thought that out pretty nice. And now we have another nice storage box from Kemimoto. So check them out in the description below. These box retail for $150 on Kemimoto's website. I'm sure it's a little bit cheaper on uh, Amazon through Kemimoto and they, off they also offer 10% off.